The purpose of this video is to support grade five to eight teachers in setting up classes with the required summative assessment category. This is the only category we want to affect the holistic grade for students. And importantly, it is the only category which will pull onto the report cards in January and June. To start, go to settings and select traditional grade calculations. You'll see a list of all the classes in your grade book. You'll want to work your way through each and every one of them, except for homeroom, and create a summative assessment category. Our core and non-core subjects require a summative assessment, even our non-core, because we will create one summative assessment for each reporting period in order to get our comments and our marks over to the report card. So let's have a look at my mathematics class. And I can see here that I have two categories. Neither of them are summative assessment. So I can go into here and select, make sure that I have category weighting. I can change this to summative. Now I'm going to go down here. I've also got formative, but I won't want any weighting with formative. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that category. I would also delete any others that were attached to that class. If I go down and look at ELA, click on actions, I see here that I have my summative, but I also have my formative category, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. Once I've gone through all my classes and ensured that I have the summative assessment category set up, I'll go up to grading and assignments. I'm going to have a quick look through each of my subjects to make sure that I haven't set up any assignments in categories that are no longer feeding over to the report card. I see here that I have a unit one that I've attached, so I'm going to go into edit and make that change. So I'm going to go down here and make sure that I have summative selected. Save and close. Looks good. I've just got summative and formative assessments. Once I've gone through all of my subjects and made sure that these are the only two categories I'm using, I can go into grading categories and just clean up uh, the categories that I have access to. I'd want to do that for two reasons. Number one, it just tidies everything up and it also helps prevent using a category that you will have to change um, in order to have your, your assignment show up on your report card. So I want my summative to show here. I do want my formative. There's no, no weight attached to it, but I want to be able to select that as well. I don't need the unit final one. So I click on the pencil icon and I change it to inactive. From here, I can make that change to all courses. I don't have to go into each and every one. So I just make sure that every class that I'm teaching is selected and then I push save. So you'll see that that category is now hidden. If you want to see which inactive uh, categories are attached to, to your gradebook, you can view them here and then just turn them off. So that's it. If you need any support with this or have any questions around Power Teacher Pro, please do reach out to Learning Services. We would be happy to help you.